Here's a 1948 Gibson Archtop guitar, model L48. And you might have seen it on a recent trade secrets when we plugged a bunch of funky holes in the top, sunbursted over them, and sprayed a coat of clear lacquer that blended in. And it's looking really good. It's ready to go out as soon as I reshape the saddle because the strings are not spaced evenly. The factory string spacing is a little too pinched together for me. I like it a little bit wider. Plus, the strings aren't spaced evenly. The B is too far from the E or too close to the G, so on and so forth. I can't really just move one string over a little bit to make up for it because then I'd have a notch right next to a notch and we'd be very sloppy. I can gain a little bit wider string spacing at the bridge because when I fretted this guitar, I didn't make a really steep bevel. I left it more perpendicular and nicely rounded and gain a little fret width. That means I can move the strings closer to the edge and that's going to feel good to the right hand when it picks at the bridge. First I need to remove the existing string notches. I measured the fretboard as a 10 inch radius when I fretted it and we want to make the saddle the same. I'm going to run the grits between 80, 120, 220 and 320 gold paper and I'm taking most of the meat off on the base side because the saddle is thicker there and the slots were deeper. I'm almost there. Of course I'm uh, using a 10 inch radius block and I'm about done. Now I have the outside E strings right where I want them by eye. I've moved them out and I'm going to mark the location by pressing on them. Just enough to make an imprint. And that imprint will go away as soon as the string's gone. So I want to come in really fast and make a mark right in the center of my groove. I can deepen that with my smallest ten thousandths file. Just enough to help hold the string. I'll, I'll file it out bigger later. With the uh, outside E strings where I want them, I space the rest of them with the string spacing rule. It doesn't make the strings equal on center, it's proportional. Because the wound strings are fatter than the skinny strings and if you space them equally, they get all crowded down on this side. If you're a finger picker, this is way good. Once I get them lined up with the marks on the rule, I'll do the same thing. Make a press mark, cut a starter notch, and then I'll switch to the actual files for each string. Now I've shaped the top of this saddle to a 10 inch radius, but I need to deepen the slots to hold the strings, and that'll change the radius and I'll have to check as I go. I'm going to start with the D string, which is a 33 thousandths mm -hmm. diameter, and I've got a little nick in it, which will catch my file. This is 28 thousandths file. That's smaller. I like to start smaller than the actual size. It'll work right up to it. If anything, I want to keep a slight back file to it, leading off towards the front edge. And they don't have to be really deep slots, enough to hold the string when you're picking. That's pretty good. That will probably change the look with the under saddle gauge a little bit. Because as this string drops, it pushes this one away. So I'm going to drop all the strings with the appropriate file until they all have a nice notch and the under saddle, under string gauge meets them all. That's a good start on the D. I can make it a little cleaner. This is a Mitchell abrasive cord. Imagine string with a sanding grid on it. That comes in after the files and does a great job of adding a roundness to it because it's a round string and it smooths and rounds all the marks. It's a really good finishing touch. That's all I need on this bridge. It's very hard Brazilian. Sometimes on a softer wood, I might follow this with dental floss or a different piece of string to burnish it and make that wood hard. I'm going to play this thing and see how it feels. Mm -hmm. 
The owner of this guitar, Tom Monchak, bought it new when he was 16. And that was in the late 40s, and I think Tom's about 83 now, and he just started taking guitar lessons. Isn't that awesome? Tom, this is going out to you tomorrow. <laughs>